Hey everyone, happy Thursday. It's almost the weekend. Heather in the house. Um, my bestie, never too old for toys, is a wild woman and gifted me the giant secret crush doll. Oh my gosh, isn't this fabulous? I've been like debating for the past day and a half, like, do I unbox it in a video? Do I not? I've gotten a couple requests or comments of people saying, oh man, I can't wait to see you unbox that one. And it's like, oh man, but I kind of want to open it myself. So it's an internal debate. I was like, fine, we're going to do it. This is huge. I, I can't even get the whole thing in the screen without like, do I stand up? Do I sit down? How do I do this? Just so you know, if you've ever bought the Secret Crush dolls before, this is the size of the mini ones. This, this, look, look at this comparison. The box that Amazon shipped this in was so huge, I could fit in it. My doggy could fit in it. We could both fit in it at the same time. Um, I hear that it's on a super sale on Amazon. So if you want to check it out, it's probably worth to look at. Um, but yeah, totally, oh my gosh. Huge surprise. Thank you, Amanda. I can't believe it. <laughs> this is nuts. Um, I don't know how long this is going to take to unbox, so maybe I do a few pauses here and there. I, I don't know. Looks like there's a lot of plastic. So how do we release you? Let's start this right now. Um, I don't know how it's attached to the a bottom. How do we get, how do we get you out? Hmm. All right, so I think I'm gonna try to figure out how this is attached and I'll be back in just a second. All right, everybody, I am back. Um, 10,000 pieces of tape, five bazillion zip ties, and um, I haven't got any paper cuts yet, but we're back. All right, so time to get into this heart. If this is, oh, there's some kind of tie back here. Everything is attached to this pink box and this pink bo heart box was attached to the cardboard box it came in. Man, let me let me tell you, they really, really wanted to make it hard to get to this toy anyway. So we, I just untied that. Um, if this is anything like the smaller ones, there's probably going to be some big, um, that hatchable type plastic that breaks to break through into the toy. I don't do that. I don't want to do that. Maybe I'll play with it later and crumble it like, I don't know, like ASMR for your hands. I have no idea. So, um, but we'll see if there's a way around breaking it. Here's the lid. I left one zip tie over here to act as like a latch um, because uh, otherwise I don't feel like the lids stick very well on the small one. So I'm thinking the big one would be exactly the same. Um, why are you not opening? I took this zip tie off. Uh, okay, see? So now, I, I, I know this thing is huge, but um, now I've got like a latch to keep it on. Um, okay, and huh, here are the giant parts that you break to get to the toys inside. This is supposed to come with one very large doll and a limited edition small doll. Um, so, ah, let's get in there, kiddos. Um, I wonder, okay, there's some little plastic things we can peel off and I'm going to guess that I can get this off without having to break these hearts. I mean, who wants to break a heart anyway? Okay, let's see. Do you come off? Do you come off lid? I think you do. Yes! Yes, my queens! This came off. I do not have to break the heart. Um, yes! I love that. I hate slime. I hate messy toys. Um, kids love them, but I'm just here for the collectibles. All right, let's put that on the ground. I guess you could keep it, but once you break this out, it's just gonna be like two odd shaped holes. It won't look like hearts anymore. Um, I don't know. But what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take this little mallet off, off of here, and you're just supposed to go ham on these hearts until you get to the toy. Um, I am not all about that, uh, I think. I don't know. 
I'm just weird. I know I don't have to take these little plastic thingies off now, but I'm going to because otherwise it'll bother me. I'm weird like that. Okay, plastic things off. Um, so there are some instructions. It says one, here's your doll. Two, open her hair because there's going to be surprises inside. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't see that. Three, um, there's some surprises in her bow. And then four and five are over here. These are the tiny friends that we're going to open. So, uh, more plastic. Uh, so much plastic. Yes. Thank you, Judy. If you watch this video, Judy dot dot dot, thank you for the scissors. ponytail fell off and there is move this to the side for just a moment okay so we were supposed to unscrew her hair and a surprise was going to be inside that's this right here so let's look at the doll real quick these do not stand like their miniature counterparts they don't stand so um if anybody knows of a doll stand for the big doll that would be really cool i love the colors there is glitter all over her dress, not in the bow, but oh look, we kind of match. We're kind of cute today. So, um, yeah, uh, her stockings are glittery. I think her dress comes off, um, but I don't know why you'd want to take it off. Um, all right, let's go ahead and see what was inside of her hair. Oh my gosh! Okay, so these are the legs and the torso for her little friend. So let's go ahead and put that together. Okay, that was one surprise. So we got a body and we have hair. So I think I can put her hair back on. Hmm. I wonder if it just... Does it turn? No, it just snaps on. I know a few other girls that have this doll, so I'm going to have to see if the hair just turns or if it just snaps on. Otherwise, it feels like maybe I should super glue this so the ponytail doesn't keep coming off. I'm not going to hide toys in the secret compartment. Um, then they said the bow has a surprise, I think. There's a surprise in the bow. But... There's all this plastic holding it together. Shoo! And this is the bow. This was on her back. And there's a surprise in here. Um, some string. Probably to make a bracelet if you want to. These dolls usually come with beads. And this feels like the beads. So let's go ahead and open it. It's going to make a huge mess. These are so pretty. I don't I don't know if you can see them, but they're like pearlescent. I'll show you some of the big beads. Um, these are them. So they're pearlescent. And let's go ahead and close this bow back up and put it back where it goes on her back. There's some little hooks for it. And then I think the top of her hair comes out. Yep. The bow on the top of her head came off, and there's another surprise in there. So let's put let's put her head back on and see what's in here. Hmm. There is a little outfit. Let's make sure nothing's hiding in here. I hate throwing away accessories. So, here's her little dress. It looks like a dollop of um, 
frosting and it matches me again too so like I'm I'm in toy heaven right here because I totally match the toy okay that wasn't too hard to put on I really love this it's really cute okay so I can't wait to find out wherever her head is but that's her body I love these colors. This is like actually one of my favorite colors though. Um, I think we're done with the doll. Um, this is how big she is, about the size of my head. <laughs> and um, yeah, I don't think we have to put anything else together on her. So the backpack obviously doesn't stay too well, but let's continue on with the toy. I need to set her aside. Sorry if she's out of the, the photo, but we have, um, yeah, these beads are all over the place. It's scaring me. We have two more compartments to get to, and then I can gut this like a fish and uh, use it as a container for all my dolls. I've been saving the little ones to keep them for storage, but I think I could put all of them inside of here with their big sister. So let's go ahead and open number four. We'll do both at the same time. So number four has, it looks like candy wrappers. I love the how they wrap the surprises. They look like candy wrappers. And number five has some kind of pink thing and another surprise so that's everything that was in the container i'm gonna set that aside no nothing else if you want you can take the mallet off i like it where it is um now let's open this one Ta -da. and um she's her hair is also pearlescent i don't know if you can tell in the video but there we go so we've got her hair her body put together and then there's four surprises in here I'm gonna guess that it's her hair and um, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to fully put her together but we'll see hold the phone okay I did one little hair thing um, one piggy tail so we're gonna go ahead and do the other piggy tail right now um, all those beads go inside the little dolls hair you can either do that or like I said use the string they provided to make a bracelet I don't know anybody anyone at all that has done that um, I haven't seen anybody make any of the bracelets if you have um, go ahead and send me pictures show me like here's all the the beads they go inside the hair you just you put them in there however you want most of the times all the beads fit inside the doll's hair that you get um, sometimes I feel like they don't um, and I've gotten some backlash from not fitting all the beads inside the doll's hair but um, it's like whatever you want. You can put no beads. You can put all the beads. You can put beads that didn't even come with the set inside their hair. Just um, And then um, after you get it all closed up and put together, it snaps into these little pegs they had on their head. So I'll take it out. Um, another thing I've been considering is like super gluing these shut because I'll never open them again. I'm not gonna turn the beads into bracelets. I, you know, it is what it is already. I like them how they are. Um, I'm just afraid of them busting open and then one day I'm gonna have like beads all over the house and I'm gonna be freaking out. So I think a little super glue is gonna go a long way with these ladies. Um, I think I would have liked to seen the big dolls have um, a big bead compartment for their hair. So. Um, that's just, you know, that's just me thinking out loud, but I think they're perfect the way they are, um, except for I would like them to stand. So a bead compartment for their hair, that's not necessary. I would just really like them to stand on their own. Um, then the last thing that came in this package was some weird prong. I figured out that inside of the giant heart, I'm going to move back a little bit. There is a place to snap this prong into, and I, I, don't, I don't think it goes like that. I think um, it goes in here. Ugh. Okay, it's a little hard to get in. I'm going to use a little bit force later, but it's basically a hook so you can stand your doll inside the heart case. I think that's really nice. That was thoughtful of the company to do. Um, 
If you have one of these, let me know your thoughts on them. Um, if you don't have one, um, still let me know your thoughts on them. What do you think? I think they're really pretty. I love the glitter. Personally, go ahead, put all the glitter. I don't know. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Take care. Ciao.